people are going, where have you gone? Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James. And yes, we finally got a little bitty kind of promo trailer thing. It's not a full on trailer. I hope we get a full on trailer pretty soon. Um, we've got uh, Andy and Denai talking in this, which is fine, which is fine. Totally fine. Michonne saying at the end, it's a crazy love. So we'll see how the story plays out. It does look like it's got a lot of action in it. Even if it is a love story, it is Rick and Michonne, the ones who live. Let's check out these frames and see what's up. You know, it shows the phone. It's got Michonne etched on it. And we see Rick's face in it. We've seen this little part before in a promo. But, you know, just in case you guys didn't catch it before, this phone drawing is different than this phone drawing that Michonne found on the boat. So it's two different phones, two different drawings. All of that will kind of play out and tell about itself in the show. We got Michonne here. She's hugging Rick's boots. Like they're saying, it's a love story. She misses the guy. She hugs his boots. It's a really exciting story to tell. We get a couple quick shots of both of them fighting walkers. Rick fighting some crazy looking walker on fire kind of thing. So that's pretty, pretty cool and crazy at the same time. Can't wait to see it. And then a shot of Rick in bed. He opens his eyes, you know. Can't wait to see this series myself. I don't know about you guys. But then we get this shot, which is one of the coolest shots, I think, in this little promo. It's a wide shot. Uh, the logos are over it. It's hard to see. But there's a helicopter flying over an industrial area there. Possibly taking Rick to fight those fire-looking walkers or something because it looks like the helicopter, uh, we'll see in a second. Denai being interviewed there in her Michonne outfit. And, you know, she's got a different outfit on at one part, I'll point out. She's got her katana there, you can see. And she doesn't in some parts, I'll try to point out. But she sees that big ship that says Safe Harbor on it. Really cool, really cool looking. I hope we get a lot of cool shots. Hope they spent some money. Hope they had a budget and spent that money. And Leslie Ann Brandt, cool character, I'm sure is going to be here in this show. I remember her. She's been in other stuff, but I remember her from Spartacus, like way back on Stars. And uh, here's a shot where it looks like maybe they just let Rick out. He's going to fight the Firewalker things. Uh, I'm not sure who this guy is as far as in the show, but I'm going to like that we're finally getting some military type stuff, some helicopters, uh, machine guns again. Our ambition is to have some answers. These two people are so powerful and together. We got a cool shot of Rick there. Of course, he's got his signature weapon, the little twisty stick that we see him with in that end promo of season 11. And a cool shot of Michonne somewhere. And she's got different clothes on. She doesn't have her katana. She's got like a kitchen knife and a sheath kind of thing on. So what's that all about? Um, I'm sure she's already been uh, got into CRM somehow. And of course, she doesn't have her katana. And she's working on, uh, you know, maybe a way to get out of there. And here's a shot of Rick. We got, he's in the same clothes he, he's in fighting the fire walkers or whatever. And in this shot, you can see a helicopter, lights of a helicopter rising up behind him. Like it had landed, let them out, and now it's taking back off. It's from what it kind of seems. It's insane. This is some crazy love. We got Michonne fighting walkers here um, in this vehicle, around this vehicle, and it doesn't look like she's got her katana. She's got different clothes on even uh, that we've seen before, I think. And here's the two people that we saw in the very last Michonne scene from the main Walking Dead show, the two people in the wearing the cowhide. And we get her first look at Major General Bill. I knew the dude would be wearing a beret for some reason. But cool look, you know, I like the actor, so I think this is going to be really cool. I'm pretty sure he's holding just a regular sword here, not the uh, Michonne's katana, because it has a very long handle. I'm pretty sure that's not it, but awesome to see Major General Bill. And if you look behind him, it looks like a coffin draped with a CRM flag or something. So not sure if that's really what that is or not, but it does look like maybe this is a memorial. And we see a pretty gnarly, looks like helicopter wreck, an explosion even happening. Is Rick one of those guys in there? Um, is this how Rick maybe escapes? What brought the chopper down in the first place? A lot of questions about that scene right there. Another new character, so hopefully the ones that it has shown, the few new characters, will be the main ones. Either good guys or bad guys. And we got Rick there still at the culling center. And Michonne there at that vehicle, still fighting walkers. 
So still not a full on trailer, but still pretty cool. It's great to see some of the images from the show. Great to know that this show is coming February 25th, just around the corner. Very excited for the show myself. Um, Rick, it's been gone too long. Um, I do think it'll bring some fans back. I do think it will generate a lot of hype and everything. But, you know, uh, The Walking Dead really was hurt. Not only by the quality of some of the shows or spinoffs they've put out since the main show, but Rick leaving... A lot of the decisions, you know, The Walking Dead has made, Carl's death, um, there's been several things, but the main thing, Rick leaving really, really hurt the show. I know he wanted to leave, it's a personal actor thing, but besides that, and that's cool, and I support him, I totally support an actor that needs some time off or whatever, you know, personal life stuff, if that's his game, go for it. If that's what they need, go for it. But as far as just the reality of fans in the show, yeah, you know, it, it hurt without Rick. And because of the pandemic, because of, hey, we're going to get movies and now we're going to get this series and, you know, the back and forth of how we're going to get it and when we're going to get it and, you know, what we're going to get exactly. But I thought it was a really cool promo. It showed some cool stuff. We got a first look at Major General Bill and some of the characters. I may take another look in depth at it and maybe do another video but hey, you guys let me know what you think about it down in the comments below, and you know I'll join you there. This is James N. Nashville's always thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more dead stuff.